Cody. on Sundays. Yeah. Cody, so what are you doing here? I really do appreciate you coming out, man. I know it's not your scene, but I think it'll be good for you. What, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> it's a good crowd. Good people. You know, you can use some better don't people in your... Don't assume things about people. I know you don't know them. I'm not judging you or telling you what to do. But don't act like those guys you hang with. Don't do some pretty shady stuff. How long's the service? Hour, hour 15 maybe. Right then, my father gives his entire bonus check, $2,000 to the church. Plop, 2K into the offering plate. Not literally cash, he wrote a check, but still. Anyway, the next day my dad's leaving work, and a random guy comes up to him and gives him a check for $5,000. It was incredible. As a child, it was a miracle. As an adult, it's still a miracle. God wants us to give. And when we give, he takes care of us. Now, I'm not telling you to put your life savings into the offering plate. But if you've been disobedient in your tithings, now is the time to change that. Proverbs 11.25 says this. A generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. Listen to the Holy Spirit. Whatever God tells you to give, give that. Today. Aaron, how are you? Great, man. Oh, I want you to meet my friend Cody Z. Cody Z? I like the billion dollar company? Yes, that's his parents. Wow, very cool. Nice to meet you, Cody. I'm Dave. You too. Good service. You think so? I try. It's the Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is his first time here. Oh, well, welcome. Hopefully you stick around. Yeah, that story about your dad yeah. Is it true? Yes, completely. You know, it sounds a little bit crazy, but the Bible says God loves a cheerful giver. Give cheerfully, as God has commanded, and you'll be rewarded beyond your wildest imagination. I need your help. We've been through this before. There just isn't anything. I can't do this anymore. I, I have nothing. I, I just, I don't know what to do. We all go through hard times. You'll get back on your feet. You just have to believe. Be obedient. I did. I was. You told me to give the money. I was obedient. You've been a member here now what? Six months? Something like that. We could lose this church, Cody. This building, I wouldn't be asking if we weren't desperate. I'm just not in good terms with them right now. We both know your parents' wealth, Cody. This, this wouldn't hurt them. It may sound like a lot, but to them, this is just pennies and dimes. I, I want to help. Then I give. Do. And give cheerfully. I leave the rest up to God. Trust me. Can you just talk to me like a normal person for a minute? No pastor talk, please. My parents cut me off. They won't speak to me. Won't even give me a cent. I'm dying living out there in the streets like a dog. I just need some money. A place to stay. Some I can't let you stay here. If I let you stay here, 
Other homeless are gonna expect the same, and we just can't afford that. I'm sorry, Cody. Really? Please, I'm begging you. I'm sorry, Dave, but I need the money back. My, my, my parents are pissed. They're threatening to sue me. The, the Did you tell they'll kick me out. Did you tell them where you gave the money? No, not yet. I, I was afraid they'd threaten to sue you. The church, too. We can't let that happen. I need the money back. I need it as soon as I... I understand the situation. Cody, that money's spent. And you know, once money's given to God, you can't take it back. I know, but this is a special circumstance. I'm sorry, Cody. My hands are tied. Talk to your parents. You're their child. I'm sure they'll come around. You probably should go. Go where? I have nowhere to go. Can't stay here. The congregation will be in soon. They can't see you here. Okay. Just a few dollars. Anything. Just for food, please. I'd give you some of my own money, but I don't carry cash. Maybe try the homeless shelter. Maybe they can help you. Nice building. I'm glad you got to keep it. Wait. Take a Bible. Thank you.